Hey guys. So this is going to be a real quick video. Um, AF came today. So I am back at cycle day one and it sucks. Um, so I'm just, I'm just processing that today and I'm really bummed. Normally I'm okay. You know, normally I can just, um, move on from a negative, but we have set an end date. That is the end of this year. Um, we have hit the deductible for everything, so if it is done in network this year, then it's covered at 100%. So um, that probably gives me two cycles because my cycles are so long. So I will probably ovulate again sometime in September. And then if I don't get pregnant then, then probably November because um, my cycles run anywhere from, you know, 50 to 70, 50 to 60 days. So. I'll probably be September and November, and if I don't get pregnant in that time frame, that's that's going to be it for us. Um, so it makes now the negatives much harder than than it was before because before there was a never-ending chance that we could just keep getting pregnant, and it's this isn't like Eddie demanding that we stop trying. This is a decision we came to together, and um, I just need to stop need to stop you know it, it's been over six years that we've been trying for this and um, I've done dietary changes and I've taken supplements and I've done all kinds of things no I haven't gone to a fertility specialist and it's because it's not covered at all in our insurance I get this question every video I post um, no we are not spending the money to go to a fertility specialist because we already have two beautiful and healthy daughters if I didn't have children yes I would but right now it is our insurance doesn't cover it it is not in the budget we are not going to go into debt to have another baby I am 37 years old and at this point my eggs are getting old and I I don't know I, it's it is what it is and I'm gonna mourn it and it's gonna be real sad when it's time but when it's when we decide it's time to stop it's it's going to be a permanent decision because I I'll keep changing my mind and I'll keep coming back and I'll keep trying and I'll be 42 and say yeah I want a baby right now and by that point my kids are going to be so self-sufficient it's like I don't I don't want to start over again when I'm 42 and and my kids are in high school and all that's like I don't want to do that so it's going to be important to make a permanent choice a permanent I don't know, make it permanent. <laughs> so, and since um, I had two C-sections to have our girls, sorry, I have to switch hands. Um, he's going to have a vasectomy if we don't get pregnant. So, I know, I know I have an amazing uh, support group in all of you. And any prayers or positive thoughts you want to send my way for the next couple of cycles, that would be amazing. Um, and, and it's... I'm, I'm coming to terms with it. I'm mourning it now, and I'm glad that I have a little time, you know, that, that we gave ourselves some time um, to keep trying for a few months. And I think it's because my husband knows me well enough that if he didn't, then I would just be a basket case forever. So <laughs> it's giving me some time to mourn it and to come to terms with it and to realize this is the right choice for our family and that we we can put our energy and our money into other things now. Our, our girls are 9 and 10 and they can, you know, make their own breakfast and, and they sleep through the night and they wipe their own ass and it's like, oh, those are benefits, you know? <laughs> and, and, you know, I don't have to spend money on, on diapers. It's easier to travel as a family of four than as a family of six, which is what I initially wanted to be. Um, and we can go to Europe sooner because I don't want to go until my kids are older so they remember the trip. And I'm trying to find the positives in it. So, um, you know, don't leave me any hate about it. Don't tell me, you know, oh, don't give up. This is a choice that we're making for our family. Um, so I'm, I'm going to mourn it for a little while and I'm going to be so hopeful over the next two cycles. Um, if I do get pregnant, then obviously he's not going to get a vasectomy, and, and we will possibly have another baby after. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But right now, that's the plan, and, um, yeah, the short video turned pretty long-winded. So I'm going to go, um, and I will talk to you guys. I probably won't vlog tomorrow because I have... Um, I'm going to have some extra vlogs probably next week. So I don't think I'm going to vlog tomorrow. I've really got to get my house in order and um because we start school back on monday so it'll it'll be fun to you know show you 
what our school day looks like, show you how I lesson plan and, and that kind of stuff. And, um, you know, hopefully over the next couple of months, you know, with daily vlogging, you know, maybe you guys will, will want to continue watching our family. And once we stop trying to conceive, if you don't want to watch us, that's okay too. Um, so I, I'm, I'm rambling and I'm going to go. Um, thank, thank you guys for all of your support. Always being there to look at my tests every single time I test. Sometimes when I see lines and I think I'm crazy, it really helps when other people see them too and think I'm not crazy. So, or, you know, people just to say, don't give up, keep trying, because sometimes it's really easy to want to give up. So I appreciate all of you and all of your support, and I will catch you guys back next week.